Hello everyone and welcome to my cooking channel. What you making Dave? We're making stuffed pull apart garlic cheese loaf. I'm going to tell you a little bit about the dough. It's been proofing for a little while. The recipe for the dough will be in the description. We've got some lovely saputo mozzarellissima that we're going to use to stuff the dough. A little trick is to line the baking dish with a little bit of oil and cornmeal. This is going to give it a nice crisp crunch on the outside and you won't be disappointed. I'm just going to start taking some dough out like this so you can see it in my hand. I'm going to take the mozzarella, wrap it around the dough, just like that. Nothing fancy. Then what I'm going to do in here we have butter, garlic, spices. The recipe will be in the description. This is a really, really nice recipe that I think everybody is going to enjoy. You just want to pinch the ends just to make sure that they're a little closed so the mozzarella doesn't sorry the mozzarellissima from Saputo doesn't fall out so what I've started to do is I make four big ones on the outer edges and this helps build a really nice looking loaf so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make 12 smaller pieces fairly quickly and just put them on the side right here. You don't need to be exact. It's not about perfection. It's just about achieving a really nice product. Now hopefully I don't run out of dough before pieces where I'm going to have to steal a little bit of dough from each ball, which is another uh, baker's tip that you can do. What do we have? Three, six, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. This one's a little on the big side, so I'll pull a little bit of this off, a little bit more here and here. Oh, this one's a little big. Da, da. Da, 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 da. Okay, so now all we'll do is this is the quick way to do all of the pieces. And that is it. Then we'll just pick our dough up. Push it around quickly.
All right, now we're just gonna throw a couple in, spread it around, and start having some fun lining it up where it goes. So now what we're going to do is we're going to put this in the oven at 350 degrees, bake it for about 15 to 18 minutes. We're going to pull it out, throw some more cheese on it, and I'll take you through that process next. Here we have a bunch of cheese and just make this absolutely evil. Whoa. I don't want to go crazy with the cheese, just a little crazy. There we go. Oh, maybe a little more. And this is the Here, 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 here. There. And we'll be right back. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. I've just pulled this out of the oven. And what we're going to do is we're just going to bake a little bit of garlic and butter on the top. We're going to let this sit for a couple of minutes, then I'm going to use a set of tongs and I'm going to pull one out for the camera person to try. We'll be right back. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Oh boy. I think we might have success here. Oh yeah. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. Would you like one? Yeah. Here you go. I'm just going to pull one apart just to show you what it's like on the inside with all the cheese. Oh my goodness, look at that. Cheese explosion. Nice and crispy on the outside. Um, if you like the video, don't forget to click subscribe. Like the video. Make a comment. Maybe a suggestion on what you'd like to see next time. Thanks for joining us and I hope everyone has a great day. Don't forget, you're amazing.